Today, I'm excited to share with you my top nine green designer bags. Green is a nice, unique color that can add a pop to any outfit. The bags I'll be sharing with you today range from classic to bold, so there's something for everyone. Whether you're a fan of luxury brands or more affordable options, I've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into my favorite green designer bag. The first bag I'm gonna share with you is from Mulberry, and this is the Mulberry Little Softy. And the specific color I'm sharing with you is called Mulberry Green. I showed and shared the other green like the bright vibrant green in another video but specifically this is like a forest darker green similar to my hair color actually if you can even see it on camera it might be getting washed out you might can see it right there this green is absolutely beautiful it's nice and dark i don't have any bag actually i do have a bag kind of similar to this but i think this mulberry one is even darker i have this celine nano belt bag here but this one is a little darker and also it has that soft pillowy fabric or whatnot but i love this one it kind of gives me chanel 19 vibes as far as the cushiony feeling of the bag. It has gold hardware and it's just a really cute bag. I'm not sure if they have the bigger size, but specifically I want to share this one because this one is a great price point. It is $16.25. And as you all know, designer bags can be quite expensive these days. And to still have a bag underneath the $2,000 price point is amazing. So in case you're not a fan of the darker green, I want to include the lawn green color with silver hardware. This is the brighter, more vibrant Kelly green that I shared with you in a past video. But there are two options for Mulberry, same price point. Falling at a similar price point, but perhaps a little less reasonable as far as size, this is the Fendi Baguette phone pouch. It holds your phone, but it seems like it will hold something else too, like something slim. And this comes in multiple colors. It is $15.50. Let me zoom into this so you can see it. It does have the logo at the front and the particular fabric is green patent. It has a nice top handle. It has a long strap. So if you want to wear a crossbody, there's an interior card slot. So you don't necessarily need a card holder unless you want to carry extra cards. I really like this one. I love the color of this one too. And again, it's a great price point. It does come in other colors, but we're specifically talking about green bags in this one. Also, I want to share with you this other option in case it's a little bit too expensive for this size. They have another baguette phone pouch that is $12.90, also in green. The only difference, this comes in satin. So it's a bit more high maintenance, just to let you know. Similar vibes, still has the interior card holder. This one is acid green similar vibes. This one I think has gold hardware. Silver, actually. There you go. The next option I'm gonna share with you is also from Fendi and it's the Baguette Mini. It retails for $23.90. They have this green shade here. It's like a mint green, but that's not really the one I want to share with you. What I want to share with you is the color that's of course not available, the acid green. And I'm not sure if you can still get it somewhere. It hasn't notified me, which usually isn't a good sign. I uh, but maybe it is a good sign because some things tend to sell out and it's sold out and you can't get any more. Notify me, there's a little more promise that it'll come back. Anyway, they have this mini size interior card holder as well, slightly bigger, perhaps much bigger than the phone pouch I just shared with you. Gold hardware, in case you really like this green, it's more like a mint pistachio, kind of like the color of my Bronco, spoiler alert. <laughs> they have this one available. You can wear it shoulder, crossbody, different options. Next from Jacquemus, we have the Le Bambino long and this retails for 950. The truest Kelly green you can probably get your hands on. And a lot of Jacquemus bags have kind of the suede material, kind of like this. This is also a Le Bambino long, by the way. And this has like that suede kind of fabric. If I can think of what it is, I'll put it on screen. But this one is full on leather. If smooth leather is more of your vibe, you might want to look at this one. It's under $1,000 before tax. Complete full leather, which is great. Now, this one, unlike the others, there is no longer strap, so you have to wear it on the shoulder. That's the only option, or you can kind of put in the crook of your arm or carry it. But this one comes in so many different colors, it's not even funny. There's no interior card slot, so you'll have to actually carry a card holder. But with the size of this bag, you can fit that in a bit more in there. It says Le Bambino long. It's not super long, it's just a little long. Okay, that made no sense. Don't let that fool you. Bambino long is not an oversized maxi style bag. I mean, it's still pretty small, but it's a bit larger compared to the others I share with you. Not to mention structured. Next, I'm gonna share with you an option from Dior which I think is horribly overpriced. Whatever, all Dior bags in my opinion overpriced, but this is the Micro Lady DeJoy bag. Never shared this one. 
I'm starting to really gravitate towards the east to west bags, like the longer ones. I don't know what it is. Some of them look kind of ridiculous, but this one is actually cute. This is an ethereal green. This is more like a sage green. So if you wanted something a bit more wearable, a bit more in the neutral family, this is the perfect shade of green in my opinion. And you can easily incorporate into your wardrobe a lot better than you can maybe a bright pop of green. This one looks just like the Lady Dior, same style, except it has that slightly longer east to west feel. And it has a longer chain strap, <laughs> gold hardware. There's your longer crossbody strap has a top handle it is it's cute it's cute okay it kind of reminds me actually of the Fendi mini baguette I don't have one but it kind of looks similar to that size however this one retails for 3100 if you say oh my god that is way too small they also have the medium size I'm not sure if that one doesn't look like that one comes in green so sorry can't get that one in that green color but just want to give you that cute green neutral option because I know not everyone loves pops of color like I do like an extreme pop of color next bag I want to share with you is from Gucci I don't really like Gucci too much but this one kind of spoke to me a little bit it's green yes but this is the green Gigi Matalasse I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that I'm sure I sure am the Matalasse mini bag in bright green leather now this is absolutely beautiful it's full on leather gold hardware top handles kind of like a not a bucket style what's the other word I'm looking for I can't think of the style you call this and I should be but anyway it's so cute it's the perfect size I think it's a great price point $25.90 I mean compared to other brands you know that's full on leather they have your tassels on the side the thing I'm not a fan of though is this thicker strap I don't know why brands are doing like this thicker utility strap I don't like it they have this chain as well but I'm also not a fan of it I really think they should have done a thinner leather strap rather than a utility strap who am I okay I don't care about my opinion <laughs> and yours either obviously because a lot of people just like myself don't like that strap and they still do it so somebody's buying it super cute perfect shade of green it's like the perfect green like I think about the color wheel and I think about secondary colors and green is a secondary color this is it this is the color on the color wheel it's the perfect shade of green I could not film this video about greens without sharing my new acquisition from Givenchy and this is the green micro Intergona bag that I actually have so this is what it looks like it's absolutely adorable is it the cutest thing you've ever seen yes it is I'm gonna answer that for you it's adorable it's the perfect shade of acid green I think this color if I'm not mistaken is citrus green yes it is and it's just like the traditional Intagona except it's super tiny it holds more than you think I filmed a review video I'll have it posted either before or after this one of course if it's already posted I'll link it below for you this comes in different colors too but specifically this green there's a longer crossbody strap not adjustable unfortunately but it falls at the perfect link the cutest little oh my god just look at that the cutest little top handle it's just beautiful and it's 765 compared to other micro size bags that's a pretty good deal because I think about things like the Fendi Nano Baguette that's more expensive and it's not even full leather like this one and the leather Givenchy has is high quality okay it's high quality they don't miss a beat on their leather I have never had any issues with any of the Givenchy pieces that I own this is perhaps my favorite on the list perhaps the bag I'm gonna get. This is from Ferragamo. Ferragamo, I mentioned in my past video I wanted the white bag like this, but I'm so glad I held out. I'm so glad I didn't get it. I'm so glad I got the Jacquemus version that I wanted also. Instead of this one, because this color is calling my name even more. This, ladies and gents, is the iconic top handle in green. Oh, MG. The perfect shade of teal green. I know technically it's not green, but teal has green in it, okay? If you're familiar with color theory this color that gold hardware is absolutely stunning i don't know if it looks like this in person perhaps i should go to ferragamo i, do, I think we have a ferragamo in dallas but to be honest with y'all our designer stores suck here i mean i know people flock into dallas and they're like oh my god the luxury is horrible because nothing i ever want is in stock they always had a basic stuff so i could just imagine they don't have this to look at anyway i might have to take the risk to just order it and see what it looks like ship it back if i don't like it but online this is like the perfect color and i love the gold hardware wear against it and I love the size of it I love the structure of it one thing I'm kind of not a fan of is that divider down the middle I don't like dividers in my bags especially small ones because I feel like it limits the space and how you can maneuver things around in that space so 
I'm probably not a fan of that. I wish they didn't do that, but hey, it's still cute nonetheless. I just had to share it with you. Also, it has the cutest top handle. I don't know if that moves or not. It looks like it just sits atop the bang, which would be nice. I wouldn't like it if it flopped over. So we're gonna have to take a look at that to see if you're familiar with this bag and you know, whether or not it flops over, just let me know. But that divider is kind of, you know, it's kind of sending me. I don't like it. I feel like it's in the way. Like if I wanted to put something thicker in the middle, I couldn't because it has the divider there. But nonetheless, this green is quite unique. I haven't seen it much. The only thing that's kind of, you know, it's 2650. We're gonna see. Okay, we're gonna see. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. If y'all like it. If you hate it, let me know. I know y'all gonna tell me the truth anyway, which I really appreciate. <laughs> this is the Chanel Mini Rectangle Flat Bag in green, but it has blue rainbow metal. I found this on eBay. A lot of people shop luxury on eBay. I've never done it. I possibly would. This is a great price point, 3700 I basically rounded it up. But this one is adorable. The green is perfect. Also, the hardware itself is unique. It seems to be in great condition actually. I have quite a few people watching it. So a great option if you're looking for something on the resale market. Also, I can do a video. That might be a great idea actually. If I do a video on bags on the resale market that I like and recommend you should check out. I haven't bought a worn bag before, but I would, especially Chanel because <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's more reasonably priced if you ask me. Green is a color that can add a unique touch to any look or outfit. I mean, I dyed my hair green. I'm basically always wearing green. My last couple of vehicles have been green. I just love green, so I might be a bit biased, who knows? Don't forget to comment below if you have any other recommendations or if you like any of these options that I share with you. Happy to hear them. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you have not, for more fashion inspiration. And I'll leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Talk soon. Thank you for watching.